Welcome to Gold Fever Adventures. I'm Jack Tucker. Right behind me right there, that's where the sun's going to be coming up. It's not up yet. It's still nighttime. It's only about, probably about only about a quarter after five maybe in the morning. Sun's not up, but it's probably already about 90 degrees. It's going to be another hot day. Yesterday was about 115. That's going to be about the same today. And that's just too hot to be out doing any type of prospecting work. So we have to get up early in the morning and get out and uh, do a little bit of detecting. It's starting to get a little bit light. I can kind of see on the ground to uh, start to detect here. So I'm gonna be uh, grabbing that detector and going on out. I'm up here in a spot. After doing a little bit of research, it tells me there's nuggets up here been found. I've never detected here before. I've never heard anybody else detecting here before. But I'm going to go see if I can find me some gold. I'm going to be using the uh, MineLab GPX 6000. I'm going to be putting that to a test again and see how great of a machine that is. But that's what I'm going to be doing, walking up this hill. I can probably get in maybe a couple hours anyway. Anything I find, I'll be sure to let you know. But anyway, I want to thank you guys coming along, sharing on these adventures. And hey, let's just go have some fun. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk up around this draw right here, all around in here. I've got this wash right here. There's bedrock all the way up. So anything coming off the sides of this hill would come into this wash right here and come on down. But it's like a saddle up in here. So I'm going to try up in there first. There's a cut over here. There's a lot of mines around this area. I shouldn't say a lot, but there's a few mines around this area. I'll tell you one thing. It's awful quiet up here. There ain't a sound nowhere. I don't even hear the birds chirping. It's quiet. All right, here's this machine. So first off, we're gonna turn it on. Hold it about four inches off the ground and let us do its thing. Takes about five seconds. It's done. And then you can pump this for about 10 seconds. To ground balance it. If you push the button right here, it will do a, uh, you have to tune that once in a while. Just push that button every now and then and let that uh, balance itself out. On the back, you do have a ground balance button there. You can push that button in and then you can ground balance it too. Grab the ground there. Okay, I hunt, I hunt with this. All You can turn this all the way up to auto. When you're in auto, you don't have a threshold. You can turn it on, but automatically there's not a threshold. I put it at about the 2 o'clock positions where I like to hunt at. So, let's go swinging and see what we can find. Well, my first target is part of a bullet fragment. I didn't think I was going to find much trash up here, but found that pretty quickly. Well, an old can. That shows you that uh, the old timers were up here. So you can hear a faint signal right here. It's still there. I moved the surface off. Let me dig down a little deeper. I think it's out of the hole.
Let's find it. That's how sensitive that machine is. A little piece of lead. That was down a couple inches too. A little piece of lead. There's some bedrock coming up right here. And right there, we got a signal. Right in that bedrock. Let me dig that out. Looks like it's still there. It's still there. Whew, let's check it now. Okay, it's out right there. Now I just got to find it. <clears throat> Having a hard time finding that. It'll be right there. Right there. I got it in the scoop. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. Ooh, baby. Yes. That's a nice one. Whew. Yeah, that is a nice little one. That's got some weight to it. That's a little chunker. Wee, baby. Ooh, I like it. Yes, it's got weight to it. Got another target right here. I've already scraped the surface off. Let me dig this up. This was already out of the hole. It's right there. Get it. It's in the scoop. Can't get that phone too close to that. Well, that's just an old buckshot.
Well, there's a truck down there. Sun's already coming up there. Down in the valley, the sun's up already. It's gonna be coming up here really soon. Tell you what, there is a lot of ground to cover around here. Wind's kind of picking up a little bit. I kind of feel a cool little breeze blowing on you. I don't know how cool that is, but it's a little breeze blowing on you anyway. I am up here on a private mining claim. It's the Gold uh, Fever Prospecting Club. I am up on here on one of their claims. Now that area right there, that's known as the Desert Mine. Lots of nice looking bedrock all around here. You wouldn't want to sit on one of them. Now look at that. Why am I getting a target? That's weird, huh? Did it come out of the ground and grabbed a piece of gold? Or is it picking up all the minerals inside that cactus? Wow, it's pretty strange. Look at that quartz outcropping. It starts like way down there and goes all the way up through there. Well, there's an old claim marker, probably with those pile of rocks right there. That's probably what they were working right through here. And there's another claim marker. Well, that's what this guy had to be working, this stuff right here, I guess. I don't see no evidence. I don't think he was uh, dry washing or anything. But uh, that's where the claim marker's at. Pile. Well, the sun's upon me. It's going to get hot now, real quick, so I better start heading back down to the truck, I guess. That's what I better start doing. See quartz right there and the rock below it, so there's a contact zone right there. And it looks like the old timers must have known that because you can see where they've chipped into the side of that hill right there. That's supposedly where the gold kind of runs, is in those contact layers right there. You know, boat it. That's kind of a weird find. What is that? Got writings up there, up on top. Uh, I have to look at that later on. I don't know what that is. Anybody know what that is? Strange, weird. Huh, don't know what that is. Look at all this ore, quartz. I'm assuming it came out right there, that hole right there. There's some more over there. There's some more stacked up over there. Looks like they've just brought it over here and checked it all out or went through it or whatever the heck they did, I don't know, but I would have swung a detector over it all. I didn't get any signals. I didn't get no signals. But uh, pretty looking stuff, huh? There can be a lot of fine gold in this stuff here. Could be. Well, piece of tin. Mixed in with all these nice looking rocks around here. Because right there, that is the desert mine. See these trumpet plants? That's what they call a trumpet plant. They grow in mineralization, they love mineralization. It's a good sign, huh? I was detecting this pile right here. 
and I got a signal. I got it out of the ground. And uh, it looks like it's just a piece of rock. Looks like it's just a rock. Huh, interesting. I don't see no gold in it. You think it's a hot rock? Maybe I'll have to test it on one of the other VLF machines to see if I can discriminate it out, but uh, that goes off pretty good. I'm already down about, I don't know, four or five inches. That's a weird signal. Better dig that out. Well, whatever it is, it's out of the hole. That's about 10, 12 inches down. It's right there. Sure, it's a weird sound. It's got a boingy sound to it. Let's see what it is. Well, that's it. What do you think that is? That's rock. It's a piece of rock. It's a hunk of rock. It's definitely rock. You think there's gold in there? Huh. Cool, huh? That's heavy, too. It's got some weight to it. That might be a piece of gold. And yes, I fill my holes in. I got another one of them targets right here. I've already dug down a few inches. It's still there. Let me retrieve that. That's what it was. Another one of them rocks. You see it's got quartz. Piece of quartz going right there through there. I just flipped off a piece of quartz. Right there, see it's got quartz going through that. Some type of rock. Huh. Wow, maybe this thing's full of gold. This is in the tailings up here. There's another one. It's out of the hole. I was down about another 10, 12 inches down. It's right there. Let's see what it is. Well, there it was. It's like another rock. Some sort, some type of rock. It's amazing. It's got quartz on it, too. <sighs> I don't know, man. Boy, I tell you what, it's getting warm. Wind is starting to blow. But uh, I got to start heading back to the truck. I could be in this area. Frick, all day long, pulling the stuff out of this tailings here. I better further investigate this area, though. But right now, I got to get back to the truck. Well, all right, made it back here to the truck. It's not hot yet. So, let me show you what I found. Now, well, let's see here. Got a bullet, nail. Fragments, tin, lead, this thing right here. I don't have no clue what that is. It says, let's see if I can read this now. It says Bentley, uh, US, USA patent. Patent USA, maybe. Uh, made in Australia. Oh, yeah, mate. What is that there, mate? Did you guys know what that is there, mate? I don't know what it is. It says Australia. Oh, it's Australia. Oh, wait. No, maybe it's Austria. Sorry. Maybe that's Austria. I still don't know what that is. If anybody knows what that is. But these are weird here. I've seen gold up here being found that was like this here. This is, uh, this went off on the detector. I wonder if that's gold in there. All of these, these were all in that tailing pile. It's rock of some sort. But of course, that's a piece of gold. That's a nice little piece of gold. That's a clinker. Hee, baby. Yeah. I'm gonna have to further investigate these here, see what these are. 
Huh, it's heavy too. Let me show you what's kind of cool. Another thing about this here. This just smashes right down like that. And it goes right inside the bag. Easy transport. Easy, easy to transport. Okay, so like I said, I was going to show you how I found these here. Okay. Uh, you have maps, internet. Maps and internet. You got your large topo maps. You know, they show you all the types of information there. So, let's see. But, you got all these books out there. This is Arizona. That's important maps to have, too. These are land status maps. You can get these at BLM. But what these show you here, they'll show you like BLM land, state land, uh, private land, patented lands, national forest. These are good uh, to have. That way you'll know what kind of the area you're at, whether you're BLM, national forest, or whatever. You got topo maps on CDs. Don't matter if you're in Idaho, Arizona, there's Idaho again, Idaho, Nevada, Utah. There's Digger's Atlases. These show you where all the gold has, you know, been found at. Uh, just guides, Utah again, New Mexico. But being here, I'm in Arizona. I've got this class of deposits. And it says right in here, it tells me, Gulches near the desert mine in the Granite Wash Mountains. It gives me the township range and section unsurveyed near Salome. It was dry washed about 1895. Placers were also found three miles to the north of Desert Mine in the vicinity. So all of this area located in gold bearing gravels called Dutch Henry Diggings were located in the second wash south of the Yellowbird Camp. So I happen to have these other maps. I'm in La Paz County. That was 5 North, 14 West. So if I go to 5 North, 14 west which is right here then if i look at i'm in section 2021 so you have here you had what was called the desert mine placers dutch henry granite wash mountain uh placers the yellow bird mine desert mine gold eagle all of these what they pulled out they pulled out A U A G. Here they pulled out A U C U A G B B blah blah blah. It tells you it's in the center part of the in that section or the west half of the section. So I'm right here on this dividing. They pulled out gold. That's why I came to this area right here. You know we know that the internet don't lie. There's a lot of uh, history, a lot of information on that internet. So uh, wherever you're going, kind of research it. Get some books and all of that, and it'll help you uh, find out more what was taken out or where the gold is at before you get even get out there to the field to start your search for gold. It can help out a lot. But anyways, found me a piece of gold. Found me some trash. I didn't get a lot of trash today. I didn't think I would be in an area where there would be a lot of trash. And so it's another reason I kind of thought I'd come out here because I'm tired of digging so much trash. So the GPX 6000 paid off again. You know, I've only used that thing about 10 times and I've only found three pieces of gold with it, but hey, pretty good. This one was lodged in that bedrock and I'm sure there's more around there too. I got to play around more up here in this area, but hey, I sure appreciate you guys coming along, sharing on these adventures. So till our paths cross again, thanks for coming along. You guys all take care. Hey, and thanks for watching. Whoa. Lot of knitting and loving, paying the bills, keeping things.